There are billions of domesticated animals on this planet, and the majority of these domesticated animals are pets, livestock, or working animals. Domesticated animals can have a massive effect on the environment and the wild animals that we share the planet with, as the gases produced by livestock can affect global warming, whereas pets can directly affect wild animals either by preying on them or by passing on diseases. Although most domesticated animals are far removed from their wild ancestors, all domesticated animals were once wild. In today's video I will be focusing on the wild animals that we domesticated to create the pets and livestock of the modern day. And the first creature we will be taking a look at is the ferret. The ferret is a domesticated species belonging to the muscillid family, and just like other members of its family it is very feisty for its size. In some parts of the world, the ferret is kept as a pet, but they still have a lot of their wild instincts. They enjoy exploring tight cramped spaces, and they still have a lot of interest in hunting. The ferret wasn't first domesticated to be a pet, but instead it was domesticated to aid in hunting. It's thought that ferrets were first domesticated around 2500 years ago, and this was so that they could aid in the hunting of rabbits and rodents. They were used to chase rodents and rabbits out of their burrows, and this meant that the rabbits and rodents were much easier to catch and kill. Ferrets are still used in hunting to this day, but as they are very curious and playful creatures, they are also kept as pets. It's unknown exactly which animal was domesticated to create the ferret, but most people believe it to be the European polecat. This species can be found across large parts of Europe and Asia, and it is around the same size and shape as the domesticated ferret. As well as this, the European polecat is able to hybridise with the domesticated ferret, and this means that there are major problems when ferrets are released into the wild. If a large number of domesticated ferrets were released into the wild and they started breeding with the European polecat, it would reduce the number of truly wild polecats, and the number of these wild animals would decline as a result. The European polecat's closest living relatives are the steppe polecat, the black-footed ferret, and the European mink. All of these creatures look very similar to the domesticated ferret, but arguably the European polecat looks the most similar. So even though the ferret was domesticated thousands of years ago, they still look very similar to their wild counterparts. The next domesticated animal we will be taking a look at is the goldfish. The goldfish is a freshwater cyprinid, but today arguably it's the most man-made creature in the world. We have morphed this creature into many different shapes, sizes and colours, and you could argue that some of the forms we have created are quite cruel. Some fancy goldfish have deformed eyes and shortened bodies, and some are barely able to swim at all. These fancy goldfish would not be able to survive in the wild, but they are kept all around the world in fish tanks. Although some goldfish may not look at all like a wild animal today, they were once a wild Asian carp. Goldfish were first domesticated almost 2000 years ago, and they were first domesticated in China and Japan. Goldfish were thought to have originated from the Crucian carp or the Prussian carp, and you may notice that these fish aren't orange. On this planet there are many species that are known for having striking colour morphs, with some examples being jaguars and eastern quolls. In the fish world, these colour morphs are far more common, and through selective breeding they are taken advantage of. This is why you can buy golden rainbow trout and golden tench today, and it's why there are so many different variations of colour of the same fish in aquarium stores. It's believed that carp with golden colour morphs were selectively bred in Japan and China, and this is how we got the goldfish of today. So even though there are some questions over how ethical it is to create some fancy goldfish, at least once they were wild carp. The next domesticated animal we will be taking a look at is the donkey. Donkeys are some of the most loved domesticated animals on this planet, but unfortunately they are also commonly mistreated. The donkey was first domesticated as a working animal, and they were used to transport very heavy loads. Donkeys are of course not designed to do this, and it can have massive negative effects on their health. In some poorer parts of the world they are still used in this way, and if you want to help them out I've linked a few donkey charities down below. Shockingly, the donkey was first thought to be domesticated around 5,000 to 7,000 years ago, and it was first domesticated in the Horn of Africa. This is the area in which you can find its wild counterpart, and this animal is known as the African Wild Ass. This species is found in the deserts and arid areas of the Horn of Africa, 
but unfortunately today it's listed as critically endangered. It's lost many of its wild numbers due to hybridization with domesticated donkeys, and of course many of them are still captured to be domesticated today. Across their range, they still have to compete with domesticated animals for food and space, and this is often a losing battle. Today there are thought to be around 40 million donkeys on this planet, but there are only thought to be around 570 African wild asses. This just shows how much of an impact humans have on this planet, as the donkey's wild counterpart has almost disappeared, but the domesticated form is extremely common around the world. The next domesticated animal we will be taking a look at is the chicken. The chicken is one of the most common domesticated animals around the world, and its body parts and produce are used to create meals all over the world. There are more chickens on this planet than there are humans, as it's estimated that there are around 23 billion to 33 billion chickens on this planet. There are more chickens in the world than any other bird, and this once again just highlights the impact that humans have on the planet. Just like with other domesticated animals such as cats and dogs, today there are many different breeds and forms of chicken. Some are almost completely black, whereas others have fluffy heads or fluffy feet. Some domesticated chickens look nothing like their wild counterparts, and it's believed that chickens were first domesticated around 8,000 years ago. The domestication started in Southeast Asia, and this is where you'll find their wild counterparts. Domesticated chickens were once jungle fowl, and today there are four living species of jungle fowl. The red jungle fowl was thought to be the main bird to be domesticated, but the green jungle fowl is possibly the most striking. You can see many similarities between the jungle fowl and the domesticated chicken, but personally I think the wild birds are far more beautiful. So even though these birds were once limited to Southeast Asia, today they can be found all over the world. The final domesticated animal we will be taking a look at is the cat. Cats are famously one of the most popular pets in the world, but in some cases they're also used as working animals. On farms they do a good job at controlling rodent numbers, but cats are also one of the worst invasive species in the world. When they're introduced into certain island ecosystems they can cause massive problems, as they not only compete with the native predators, but they also prey directly on the native animals. This can endanger certain animals and even cause extinctions, and it's very important to keep control over your pets. In 2021, it was estimated that there were around 220 million owned cats and 480 million stray cats. These stray cats cause the most problems, and in some cases they can even hybridize with wild cat species. Traditionally, it was thought that the Egyptians were the first to domesticate cats around 3,600 years ago, but recent genetic and archaeological discoveries indicate that cats were first domesticated around 10,000 years ago. They were first domesticated in the Fertile Crescent, and they took advantage of the mice and food scraps left by humans. There are two wildcat species that were thought to be domesticated to create the house cat, and these two species are the African wildcat and the European wildcat. These two species could be mistaken for a house cat, but they do tend to be a little larger and a lot wilder. As the first wild cats were domesticated in Egypt, the Middle East and Asia, the African wild cat was the first wild cat to be domesticated. We really have moulded these wild cats into many different shapes and sizes today, and not only is the house cat one of the most popular pets in the world, but it's also one of the oldest domesticated animals in the world. If you know of any other animals that could have made it on this list, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.